Hi and welcome to the HTML and CSS tutorial series on web design. In these videos I'll be showing you how to use the HTML and CSS languages to build your own website. I've actually recorded a series on this before, um, but this is an updated series where we'll look at some new standards in web design uh, and different code that I haven't shown before. In the first video we'll have a quick look at what you'll need to get started on building your web pages and how to set up your first web page. So to get started, you'll need a text editor or a code editor to type your code into and save your code. There are several text editors designed for coding that you can use. I'm using Visual Studio Code, not to be confused with Visual Studio. That's a separate program for making desktop and mobile apps. This is Visual Studio Code, uh, designed more for um, <clears throat> using languages for web design. Um, you can use a range of languages in this program. Uh, and it's free and available on Mac and Windows and um, doesn't take too long to install. Uh, there's a few different programs that you can use however. So um, this is Visual Studio Code which I'm using. You can download it from code.visualstudio.com but there's also Atom uh, which is another free program from atom.io and there's also Sublime Text as well um, at sublimetext.com, again for Mac and Windows. So um, lots of other different programs too. Uh, there's uh, Text Wrangler, Brackets, uh, Notepad++, quite a few programs you can use to write your code. Whichever program you use, they're all fairly similar to use and um, to write the same code. We're going to be using the HTML and CSS languages. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. Uh, HTML is a language we use to actually create the content on the page, so to add text, images, headings, uh, things like that. Uh, whereas CSS is used to style the web pages, to create a theme, so change colors, uh, change the layout, add headings, uh, sorry, add uh, columns, animations, um, background colors, things like that. So uh, those two different types of files end in different file extensions. So when we create a HTML file, it ends in .html. And we, when we create a CSS file, that ends in the .css file extension. So um, to start off with, we'll create HTML code. And the first thing we'll need to do is um, save our document as a HTML file. So I'm gonna click File and New File to create an empty document. And I'll go File, Save As. I'm going to save this in a dedicated folder here. I've got a folder called Website where I'll keep all my code and files for this website. And whatever I name it, it needs to end in .html. But as it's the home page or the first page on the website, I'm going to call it index.html. Now, we can have a number of different pages on this website. We might have an About page that might be aboutus.html, we might have a contact us page called contact.html, maybe a photo gallery, and that might be called photos.html. But when it comes to the home page, generally it's called index. And that's because when you have a website on a web server and a user types in the address to go to your website, the server is generally going to look first for a file called index and load that file first. So the home page is usually called index. And then we'll just end that in .html as this is going to be a HTML file containing HTML code. Generally as well, uh, don't have any spaces in your file names, otherwise you'll start running into problems. Okay, so I'll save that in that folder. All right, and now we can start typing some HTML code. Now the HTML language is made up of tags, also known as elements, and tags are used to indicate what content we're adding to the page. Um, and they contain content. So basically they're used for markup. So they tell the browser that is opening the um, HTML file and displaying the content to the user. They, it, it tells the browser how to display content such as text or images. And it, tags are used to contain content. Sometimes there are single tags um, just on their own and sometimes there are uh, two tags with content in between them. First tag I'm going to use is just a single tag, and it's the doc type tag. I'll say doc type HTML, and 
what this does is it basically tells the web browser that this is a HTML document that will contain HTML code. Um, you don't actually have to put this in, in anymore, really, but um, it's generally just a good idea to have that at the top of your HTML code. Um, then we're going to use a tag called HTML. And um, just hit enter there as we, um, we've told Visual Studio Code, because we've ended this in .html, it knows that this is a HTML file. So it's kind of auto-completing these tags or code uh, and changing the color to show um, different parts of the code. But here we've, we've got a HTML tag. So these tags are contained inside these angle brackets or less than, greater than signs. And this is a starting tag. And this is the ending or closing tag, which has a forward slash in it. So this tag is used to say that this is going to be the start of HTML code. And this one says that this is going to be the end of the HTML code. So any code between these two tags is going to be HTML code. It's also a good idea to indent your code so you can easily see the structure of the code. OK, so in between the HTML code, um, the HTML tags, we can start adding the code for our web page. Now, the HTML document is usually, it's actually broken up into two sections, the head section and the body section. The head section just contains background information about the web page, like the title, um, maybe keywords um, that search engines can use to recognize what the web, web page is about. Um, just background information about the website or the web page, but it doesn't actually contain any visible content. The body section is what contains the actual content that will be visible on the page to the user. So we'll create a head section and we'll create a body section below that. So here is our head section. We have an opening and closing head tag and we have the body section here with the opening body tag and a closing body tag. So in the head section, we'll just indent that across, press tab. I'm going to add some background information about the web page. So that would include things like the title. So we'll use the title tag. And I'll just say my website. Now this title is not visible on inside the actual body of the web page. This title is just what's displayed on the um, tab or the so the browser window at the top there will say my website. Not actually in the body of the web page. Uh, there's another tag we can use, MetaCharset UTF-8, just close that off. That's another single tag that starts here and then is closed off here with the forward slash. Uh, and this one just tells the, the browser that this is going to contain um, character, it's going to use the UTF-8 character set, it'll contain characters of different types, different symbols, different languages, things like that. So. Don't have to put this in, um, but that's just an example of what sort of information you can include about the web page in the head section. Now in the body section, this is where we'll actually add the content. And in HTML, we use a number of different tags to display content. Um, we might use tags to add a heading, a tag to add a paragraph, a tag to add an image, tags to add links to other web pages. Uh, create lists, things like that. In this uh, tutorial, what we'll do is we'll start with uh, the first tag, which is the paragraph tag, or the P tag. So it says P for paragraph. And in between the opening P tag and the closing P tag is where we'll add our paragraph. So it might just say something like, welcome to my website. Okay. So I've got a paragraph here that will display at the top of the web page. We can save this, file, save, command S if you're on a Mac or control S if you're on a Windows PC. And now we can go to our folder that contains this index.html file and double click to open that in the browser. So I'm just gonna open that in Chrome. And there we go, we have our paragraph here, welcome to my website. And we also have the title up here which says my website just on the tab in the browser window. Okay, so um, that's some basic HTML code there to set up our head section, set up our body section, 
and add a paragraph as the first piece of content. In the next tutorial, we'll look at how to add headings uh, and format text. Um, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.